Hello everybody and welcome to another part of JavaScript full course in ProgBytes. As you saw in the previous video, we talked about if statements in JavaScript. And in today's video, we're going to talk about switch statements in JavaScript. Both switch statements and if statements are part of conditional statements in JavaScript. So now let's see how we can use switch statements in JavaScript. The switch statements executes a block of code depending on different cases. For example, you can see here that we have our switch statement. This is the syntax of writing switch statements. First, we have an expression, then we have a bunch of cases. Now this switch statement evaluates this expression and then it compares the result with these cases. If there is any match, then it will execute the corresponding block of code. For example, if the first case matches, it runs the code associated with the first case. And then after the execution of any of these cases, we should have a break keyword so that it breaks this switch statement and it doesn't uh, run the rest of the codes below this case. And then finally, we have our default case. This is just like the else part in if statements, which means that if there is no match between any of these cases, if none of these cases match our expression, then this is going to be executed. So if there is no match in our cases and our expression, so this is the final thing that's going to be executed. And let's have a real example here. For example, you can see here that we are switching the username. The username could be a string, for example. So we have a bunch of cases. The first case is the admin. So we are switching the username and the first case is admin. If this case matches, so if the username is admin, we perform something. For example, we console.log, welcome Mr. Admin, just like the if else example that we had. Then we should have the break. So if this case matches, so we don't want to run the rest of the code. And then we have the second case, which is John. So if this case matches, we console.log, welcome Mr. CEO or whatever. Then we have our break once again. So if this John case matches and we console.log, welcome Mr. CEO, we should break this switch statement so we don't want to run the rest of the codes. And finally, we have our default case. So if none of these cases match our username, so if our username is neither admin nor John, so we don't know that person and we console.log, sorry, I don't know you. So now let's practically see these switch statements in JavaScript. All right, so now let's see the switch statements practically. And let's use the example that we saw in the intro. We will change the example a little bit. So let me create a const username. And for now, let's put it empty. Now for switching this username, we simply can write switch rounded brackets or parentheses. And inside this parentheses, we can have our expression. So in this case, we want to switch the username. We can simply write username. Then we can have our curly braces and inside these curly braces, we are going to write our switch statement. So this is the syntax. Now, how can we define our cases? As you saw in the intro, we can simply have case and then we should define the case. What is our first case? So let's have our first case as admin. So if the username is admin, this is our first case, then we should add this column. And after this column, we are going to write the code that we want to run when this case matches, when the username is admin. So let's simply console.log, something like welcome Mr. Admin. Feel free to write your own message here. So this is the code that we want to run when this case matches. And just for sake of learning, let's not use break and let's see what will happen. I'm going to define my second case. So if the username is John, colon, and then our code. So let's console.log. Welcome, dear friend. So this is the code that we want to run when the username is John. And just like this, let's have another case. 
or let's have our default case so by default if the username is neither admin nor john we want to console.log Sorry, I don't know you. All right, so so right now you can see that it prints. Sorry, I don't know you because our username is empty, so it's neither admin nor John. So now let's go ahead and make our username admin or John. So let's write admin here. As you can see, uh, it prints welcome Mr. Admin. And after that, it prints welcome dear friend and then sorry i don't know you so it runs all of the codes that we have written here so it doesn't care about the admin or any of these cases and that's because we are not stopping this switch statement from running when any of these cases matched so for example right now this admin matched our username and if we change this username to john let's see what will happen so now it prints welcome dear friend and sorry I don't know you. It didn't run this first case because it didn't match this admin case. And now because it matched our second case, so the username is John, now it prints welcome dear friend. And because we are not using break, so it runs our default as well. And if we had other cases between this John and default, uh, they would also have been executed because we are not breaking our cases so if we don't break our cases it starts from where it matched our cases and it will run the rest of our code below this case it will check all of the cases and it will print or it will execute all of the corresponding codes so remember to always break your code after uh, defining your cases and after executing your cases all right so now if the username is admin we console the log uh, this message and then we break this switch statements from running and we don't want to check for our second case our default case or other cases because it already matched our case so we don't want to care about these other cases so now let's break this as well as you can see it solved our problem now it prints welcome dear friend all right so now let's create another case so i want to define my next case in the case of David column, we console the log just like before. Welcome, dear friend. Just like uh, John case, semicolon. Now let's break this. All right. So now in this case, we are checking for uh, John and David, and we console the log. Welcome, dear friend. So if the username is John. We print this message and if the username is David, we do the same thing for that. So now let's use David. So you can see that it works fine, but as you can see, we are repeating ourselves. So we have two cases that run the same code. We want to do the same thing for both of these cases. We don't care if the username is John or David. We print welcome dear friend anyways. So in these scenarios that we have, uh, multiple cases and we want to do the same thing for all of them we can combine those cases right now i can uh, simply remove this break and this all of this uh, john thing here so you can see that now i have two cases so right now you can see that i have case john in this case i'm doing nothing and uh, i'm checking for the next case this is the case of david right now it means that check for the case of john or case of David and if any of these two cases matched console.log welcome dear friend and then of course we break this switch statement and right now you can see that our username is David and it prints welcome dear friend and if our username is John you can see that it does the same thing and if our username is something that well, we don't have that case you can see that now it says sorry i don't know you so now for example we decide to add alex uh, in our friend lists what i can do is i can simply open another case and simply write alex and now it also recognizes alex as our friend so if our username is alex it prints welcome dear friend and now if our username is ed you can see that it doesn't know ed but if it's John, 
let Brains welcome their friend if it's uh, David or Alex or David you can see that now it recognizes David as our friend all right so if you have multiple cases that you want to execute uh, the single task or the single code for all of them you can do that like this and also remember to break your cases otherwise uh, it will mess up everything and also you should always have a default case so if none of your cases matched uh, you should run the default actually i should have mentioned this in the beginning of this video but i forgot when should we use switch statements and when should we use if statements actually we use switch statements when we are dealing with static values as you can see right now we are checking for the value of this username and we are uh, checking for the word admin uh, we are checking for the word John, David, Alex. Overall, we are dealing with static values. So in these cases, it is better to use switch statements. Although we can do the same thing using if statements as well. But it will be a kind of a long if statement. And then we will check for different situations, different conditions and if statements. It is better to use switch statements in these cases but if we had something like if the username starts with admin or ends with admin if it's longer than something or if you would have different and complex uh, expressions then it will be better to use if statements instead of these switch statements but if we are dealing with static values like this we should use switch statements all right once again my apologies that i forgot to say this in the beginning i should have told you this before but anyways this was all about switch statements in javascript and i will see you in the next video